Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Topic that uh, we have today is, oops, no uh, clue about today's topic. Let's see, it's there in the next slide. So we'll get a clarity on the topic that we will be covering today. But uh, before we go ahead, please do subscribe to our channel and uh, like, comment, share with your peers who are preparing for uh, FRM or CFA exams or they are trying to, uh, they are aspirants basically to build their career in this management because uh, will not uh, it will not only help them clearing the exam, but it will definitely help them uh, building some thought process which will uh, have them a bright career basically. Let's see. So uh, it's basically for FRM and CFA candidates who uh, have the cons phobia. So like if you open your cons book and uh, you are anxious basically and uh, some kind of mathematical or statistical formula topics that make you scared. So it's, it's basically for them and uh, for now it's like uh, your reaction would be this when you might be looking at these topics. So let's understand a bit about uh, quantophobia. So it is not a universal term basically. So basically it's like uh, if you are afraid of top subject quants, then like uh, you can term this as a quantophobia. And uh, the reasons for first reason for this is complexity of models. So uh, it's not really you are uh, you are lacking at something, but it's actually some the some stuff is actually complex. So it's not really you uh, who are lacking or you don't have certain ability, but like a general average person needs some additional efforts to understand these complex models. So this is one of the reason. And uh, evolution of techniques. So basically, uh, these topics are dynamic. So uh, if I were to give you a good example, uh, if you if you take a person, say, three or four decades back, his risk appetite would be different. So when he might be he or she might be choosing his or her investments, uh, they will have certain pattern when they are selecting their investment tools. But uh, if you take certain some some person today, say uh, if some person have got the funds and he wants to plan his investment, his risk appetite may be different. So it's like uh, when you study about cons. It is quite dynamic in nature. So you have, you need consistent uh, upgradation. So you need to keep yourself updated because it's really a models that you are trying to build or trying to understand. So you need to be a dynamic. It's not something that something was applicable three decades back, four decades back. It would be uh, like applicable today as well. Of course, uh, certain universal things may apply now also, but it's like in general, cons is dynamic in nature. So that is also one of the reason people have a quantophobia. And uh, yes, it's like uh, it's it has got a lot of applications in real world. So if I were to explain it more precisely when you study certain theory you may find that you have understood but uh, when really it comes to application then then you know that how much you understood the theory so basically it's more applicate it's really uh, application in nature which is more uh, I mean it's more uh, in the quant subject so that's why people find it difficult. So I'll give you a good example of uh, what I'm referring to this. So if you look at, uh, so this is one of the good WhatsApp group that we have, free WhatsApp group for across globe students. 
so uh, periodically uh, this this question is posed for interaction so if you might have seen that uh, when the question was like this uh, there, there was some question based on binomial distribution topic from uh, quants so when it was asked with certain uh, very traditional way uh, people were quite uh, i mean people could answer it very straightforward but small twist so it was what is a uh, probability of two bonds defaulting over one year but moment uh, we twisted it a bit like uh, over two years people were completely blank so when it's dynamic or more application based people find it more difficult so that's where the challenging part of cons is and uh, light of the topic if you want to join this whatsapp group you can always visit to this website that is studentcareerbuilder.com and, and over there on the right hand side you will get a link to get in touch with our team over whatsapp they'll help you out uh, with the link that uh, so that you can get added in this group and uh, interact and learn and build your concepts well So this is a website that I was referring to. You can just click. It would be mentioned in the comment box. You can just directly click and uh, just click on this link on the right hand side of this URL. You will uh, directly get connected to our team. So what's the solution for this quantophobia? So continuous education. So like uh, they should uh, like FRM or CFA professionals should engage in ongoing education to stay up to date on the latest quantitative techniques and models. This can be achieved through attending the relevant workshop like uh, like you have surprise in the next web, uh, next slide. So like you can attend workshop, webinars and pursue uh, advanced courses in the cons. And be a learning and knowledge sharing uh, something related to what uh, we covered in the previous slide. You have got uh, WhatsApp group. There are other forums as well. You can always be part of that. You can learn from them. You can share your knowledge. So basically interaction helps you a lot to build your concepts. And professional networking, kind of similar thing. You can be part of our WhatsApp group as well. Uh, you have got professional across the globe. So when you interact with them, uh, you get to learn their point of view. You can share your point of view. Ultimately, you can arrive at some uh, good outcome on the concept that is being discu discussed. And mentorship programs, like uh, we have got good mentors. If you are interested more, you can always get in touch with our team and uh, They'll assign you good mentors who can build your concepts from the scratch. So even if you don't know ABCD or mathematics stats, they'll help you build your concepts and uh, they'll make you in a very good position to appear uh, these kind of competitive exams, that is FRM and CFA. So not really entire package. If you're interested just for points also, we have got good programs, so you can always be a part of that. And uh, most important, I would say, this is most important. Right? In fact, last, last, these two are most important. The continuous practical applications. So whatever you learn during your cons, try to relate with, with your real life scenarios. If you don't come across, you can just, keep observing and try applying things as and when they come your way. So, and uh, trust me, if you just learn concepts, uh, it will get, your memory will get wiped up after some time. So practical application is most important. So you can always keep applying concepts in your day-to-day -day life. Be it anything. See, maths and stats are like quite general in nature. So you can, it's not really specific to your risk management when you are taking your investment decisions also. 
some sort of quantitative analysis at the back that works. So you can apply over there as well. So with that, uh, we would like to announce that uh, we have organized one uh, free online class wherein uh, fundamentals of probability it's from paper to quantitative analysis. It would be covered. Uh, it's on March 23rd, 2024. And it is at 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Topic that we would cover are uh, independent events, mutually exclusive events, discrete probability function, conditional probability, unconditional probability, and finally, the most important uh, base theorem. So these are the topics that we would cover in this uh, free online class, fundamentals of probability. If you have enrolled for the next exam or if you are planning to appear for next to next exam, uh, this can be a very useful uh, workshop for you. So get in touch with our team, uh, link to enroll this free online class would be provided in the comment box and uh, still if you have got any difficulty you can always reach out to uh, whatsapp number that you see on the right hand side of this uh, screen or at the bottom you have got uh, email id of our team you can always get in touch with on that so very useful uh, if you have got contophobia or you think that con cons is a big challenge for you, then this is a right uh, workshop, webinar, or a platform to understand it. Uh, the approach basically better. And these these are uh, some general tools I would say. So this is a URL for. Uh, preparing FRM exam like do you have got general tips how do you prepare for FRM CFA exams what books to refer so complete entire analysis from the experts has been shared in the blog and uh, at the top one you see uh, there are uh, you are not allowed to use any calculator during the exam but there are certain specific guidelines from the uh, governing bodies like GARP and CFA Institute. So those calculators, as per their guidelines, have been mentioned in the blog. So you can always go through and accordingly uh, go for your best suit calculator. And on the right hand side, you see uh, do's and don'ts for FRM CFA exams, uh, generic tools, but uh, it, if you go through this blog, it will certainly help you have right mindset before you start your preparation. So we come to end of uh, the video and uh, if you found it useful and if you think it, it would be useful for someone else, so please do share with them. And uh, yes, it's not really exam that we focus on, but uh, we try to build your thought process, which in general help you build a bright career. So yeah, hope it was useful for you. Stay connected and thank you for watching. Thank you.